it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. Um, we will be going over print and cut and um, how to put them on doll shirts. So but this would apply to any t-shirt that you wanna make or anything for printable HTV or even stickers. Um, but I wanted to show you one trick while we have, because this is what we're gonna design today, but I wanna show you something before we get going, which is these right here, you know the dimensions for print then cut is 6.75 by 9.25, right? So what I did was I attached these four. So you see how it's um, the only option that you, could, you have is to detach because they're already attached. So I sort of put this you know, together the way I think it best fits. And same thing with this one. So this one is 6.5 by 8.3, so it's still you know under the 6.75 by 9.25, but it's attached for these four. Okay, so when we go to make it, it's gonna make it's gonna print on two sheets. So you're gonna need to put in your printer two sheets of printable HTV, right? So in this case, um, you know you would hit continue and you would print, then you would cut. Okay, but let me show you what would happen if we didn't do that. So sometimes. Um, so let's detach both this one and this one. So each one of these images is smaller, obviously is smaller than um, the 6.75 by 9.25. In fact, they're going on uh, little, uh, these are t-shirts for 18 inch dolls. So they fit your R generation dolls from Target. They fit the American Girl dolls. Um, and it's for my daughter and her friends. So we made really fun things that they like, just like, you know, when we were a kid or even now, right? Um, we wear t-shirts of our, the people that we like, our rock stars, our movie stars and such. So I thought it would be cute to do this. Um, okay, so let's go to make it so you can see what it looks like if we didn't attach all of these. So what happens is, you know, design space doesn't always do the best job of making things the most efficient, right? So in this case, the same images that we had just done where we knew we were able to fit it on two sheets is now going to take three sheets if you did it this way. So it's kind of, a, you know, I feel like it's a lot of waste because the other thing is once you peel this off, it's really hard to use this space again. Um, I mean, you can, but you're going to have to really work hard to make it work. I'd rather just use up this sheet as much as I can and then be done with it. All right, so that's one tip. Let's get out of this and let's actually try to design it. So let me get rid of some of these so that it won't slow down our system. I'm just, these are just images from the internet. So let me turn this one around, okay. So I always bring in my images from my iPhone um, but I will show you what these look like before you clean them up so that you can still edit them. Okay. So here, um, so let's go to upload. I've already cleaned this up on my phone. So it would be this one, this one, and this one. And then you insert your images. So I take a screenshot on my phone and then I clean it up on my phone using the Cricut app. So I go in and I erase everything. I crop it. So I'll show you what but even with the crop, right, you can see like, this wasn't very clean, right? I don't even know what those pencils are. This had like, you know, my cell phone sign over here. <laughs> so what I did with this one was I found another image, I layered it to make it look like, hey, it's supposed to be like that because I couldn't edit this anymore and I'm not good in Photoshop or anything like that. So to do this one, what I did was I went to images and I wanted, because of the way it looked, I wanted a, a banner that was kind of like overarching like that. So type in banner. And I think it was, ew, if I can't find it, give me one more second to see if I can find it. Um, I feel like it was just here. <laughs> Um, shoot, where, okay, I think it was this one. Okay, so click on this one, insert it. Oh, this was not the one, I'm sorry. Let me, let me see what it looks like again. Okay, so let's go to images. So it has the little thing in the behind, okay. Um, this one, I think. Uh, it's 
not this one, but that's fine. Let's go on this one and insert. Okay. So what you want to do on this one, let's make it big so we can kind of see what we have here, right? So actually this one works as well too. So it cuts off a little bit. It leaves Merida. It's fine. Okay. So this image though, I want two layers. So I, oh, you can still see a little bit of the pencils. Oh, but that cuts out too much. Hold on. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So we'll get just her eyes. <laughs> um, we can uh, duplicate this. And so when we work with flattened images, everything's layered. So let's go to this layer and we want this one. Um, let's contour it. We want to hide all. We want to see the color, right? So this one, I made it white so that we can actually use put words in there, right? And then we have the orange. Let's change the orange to purple. And then the text, put say cheese. Um, and then I just curved it so that it, actually I'm gonna need to curve it this way because it's kind of coming up a little bit. So let's make this smaller. something like that, right? And then I made that a lighter purple. And then what happens is when you grab this whole thing and you flatten it, it just, it changes the graphics so that you can actually see it looks, now it matches, right? Like it does here. Um, so kind of you can mess around with that before you get a feel for what it may look like and you can always unflatten like if you decide Oh, I don't like the way that purple is I'm going to change this to um, This blue right and then you can just grab it again and flatten So that's how you know, I kind of change things up so this one was Definitely much better because it came down and it hid all the things that I wanted it to hide. Sorry, it was in the free images. I can show you. Oh, I had to, I would have to unflatten it. But anyway, so once you have this, then you can resize it and this will print out. So it is so cute. This is the shirt. So you could see it's adorable. It's all right. So that's one. Let's look at this other one. This one was from the Christmas Chronicles 2. My daughter likes to speak Elvish or she thinks she knows how, so I thought it would be cute to write something like this. So in the text, um, let's see, I don't remember exactly what that font was, but I think it might be Lemon Crush. All right, let's see, okay, so. Okay. And, oh, maybe it was, maybe I used capital E. All right, so you wanna make it fit, of course, right? And then I just changed it to white writing. And then if you like the way everything is, you just grab it and you flatten it. That's it, then that becomes a print and cut image, okay? Like this one, you can see, like, this is a screenshot from my phone, right? Here's my um, my battery, my Wi-Fi, the time. So what I did is I wanted a star, right? So I'm gonna go to images and I'm gonna find that star. So it's gonna be an empty star. Um, like this one. <laughs> Let's insert it. And then all I did is, so let's make this, I still haven't sized anything right now, right? This, let's make this bigger just so that we can easily work with it. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So here's my star, you know, kind of figure out where you want your star to be, okay? And then let's say you like this, right? You're gonna duplicate that star because you want it for elsewhere, okay? Then on this one, what you wanna do is you wanna grab this star 
and go to contour and you want to hide all. You want a solid star because that's what you want to slice out. I want this whole star to slice out of this image, okay? So grab both items and slice. So I'm gonna remove this because I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna remove the slice results, right? I don't need that. So here is my star cutout, right? And then I'm gonna bring this one to the front, arrange, send to front. And then I change my star to purple, but now you can start to see this is gonna be the border to my American Girl um, little cutout, okay? So now that I'm done with this, then I'm gonna grab the two items and then I'm gonna flatten. When you flatten the image, it becomes one print and cut. So you can see it's very similar and then you can make it smaller. So in this picture, I obviously did not increase the picture so much because there's so many more dolls than there are here, I think, right? Yeah, but you can mess with that um, however you want to. So. It's really easy, it's a lot of fun. You can change the colors. If you brought in, for instance, I did one, what did it say? Oh, I did this one. Um, let's go to images and it was um, conversation hearts. Because I like pulling in SVG files. So um, I think this one is a good one and then I also had another one, let's see. That one's cute. I'm just bringing in a bunch of hearts and you're gonna see how it works out. And then maybe this one. Okay, I'm gonna insert it. What's cool about using a file, cause you see, look at all the, all these layers, all it means is that we can actually change the colors. So you can really customize it to whatever you want. So let me ungroup this one over here. All right, so this is what I did. I did one and I don't have it right next to me, but I'll show you in a second. So I had this big heart. Let's move all this stuff out of the way. I did one for my daughter and her two friends that are her BFFs. So I went to text and I think I, you know, just typed in their names. So and I'm typing them in separately because I want to change the colors and it's just easier for me to see all of these. Okay, so here we go. Um, so let's just say I did something like this. So let's start having fun personalizing this stuff, okay? Oh, did I do the same purple? I didn't mean to. Let's see. Okay, and then let's say this one was... Okay. And then we can bring these in. Now with print and cut, what I don't like are these little cutouts. If, if I use this one, I wanna make sure that this is covered by something else so that it's not gonna cut the inside and then I have to deal with weeding it. For my print and cut, what I like is for everything to be covered on the inside so you can't contour anything and it's just one piece that I'm pulling off, okay? So I'll show you what I mean by that. So actually, I'm gonna move this over here maybe this over here and put a range sent to the front. Now remember with layering um, and flattening, if you want to see it, you have to see it. Like however you flatten it is whatever you see here. Okay. So these hearts have to be on top of that heart. So we can start changing colors. Um, I mean, that's, I just love being able to, to make the changes so easily. So I'm changing all the colors, right? And then let's look at these. So this one, and you when you flatten it, you can really see how it's gonna print out. That's so cute, right? 
So let's unflatten it though because it's in pink and that's not gonna show up against our pink heart. So let's change that to maybe a dark purple. Okay, so let's keep that. Let's see what that looks like. We're going to flatten. So you can have this hanging out because what will happen is if you did this and we flattened it, then your Cricut will cut around this heart and around this heart. So it's one piece. You literally pull it off the sheet, you put it on your t-shirt, and then you iron it on. What you don't want is something like this because then you got to pull off this heart and you don't, you definitely don't want this because then you got to pull off the R, the O, part of the S, and then it's going to cut on this if that makes sense to you. You kind of want everything to have a background so that it just cuts so much more easily. All right, um, this one's cute. Let's flatten it. So you can see so many different things that we can do, right? Like this one can be over here. Oops, I grabbed both of those, but I think that can work. Okay, so when you go and grab all of this and flatten it, it becomes one image. So this whole thing is going to cut like this. It's going to cut around this heart here, around here, and it's all one piece. That's what I really like about the print and cut. All right, that is it. I hope that was helpful. I didn't use print then cut for a long, long time, and I definitely didn't know how to customize it. So I hope this helps. I hope this, I mean, this is, this one just cracks me up because they're like, they're just silly teenagers seeing, you know, taking a selfie. This one's got a tattoo. I mean, it's just so funny with the princesses. But so many things you can do with t-shirts and um, just printable HTV in general. So the printable HTV, I always buy the one that's for dark materials because I was told that you can use the dark ones on light colored materials as opposed to buying um, printable printable HTV for light materials, then you can only use light for light, but dark you can use for light and dark. So I never tried out the light one. I've always just gone with the dark one and I do use it on both light colored materials and dark materials. It's on my Amazon shop and I will, you know what, let me just type it out for you here. Um, and it's on my Amazon shop. And I will link it as well, but you guys don't always read um, the information at the beginning. Oh, this font is horrible for this. Give me a second. <laughs> and I'll just change this so you can actually see it. There you go. Um, all right, so let me know your feedback. And then if you have any special requests, let me know as well. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.